Hey guys, welcome back to another video review. Today we're taking a look at the Spawn Mega figure, Cygor from McFarlane Toys. The back of the package has a picture of the figure itself with his name. And on the side we have comic book art of Cygor himself. The McFarlane Mega figures are usually tied or taped to the box insert, so you have to remove the entire package. And like all other McFarlane releases, the stand is behind the plastic that you'll need to tear open. Cygor is the result of the US government experience trying to create superhumans combining cybernetics, man, and beast. The experiment calls for the mind of the creatures to be 80% human and 20% beast, but after a mistake in the process, Cygor escaped only having a human mind at 20%. The human mind used for Cygor was Mike Konieczny, a squad mate and friend to Al Simmons before he was murdered. Mike was going to blow the whistle on the murder of Al Simmons, but was captured and turned into the experiment Cygor. After escaping the lab, Cygor would then hunt down Al Simmons, thinking he was his creator, and leads him to battle with Spawn. Later on in life, Cygor would die, only to be resurrected by Spawn under his command to do his bidding. Let's check out some details. The gorilla head of Cygor is packed with details and a roaring expression. Bright red eyes and large fangs are the first things we notice with the finish that makes the mouth look wet. The face is split between cybernetic metal and the hairy skin of a gorilla. On the left side of the head we can see gears, screws, and bolts all over the silver plates of metal covering the face. The other side has large open slashes on the head with red paint with a glossy finish making them look fresh. More hair textures detail the face here as well. The chest is split once more between flesh and cybernetic parts. We have large bloody stitches running down the body, with large silver plates covering the rest of the chest. Large plates of steel armor completely cover the back, with details like a robotic spine, gauges, vents, and tubes all over the armor. The left shoulder has a plate of armor, with a few gold decorations like the large tubes and machinery underneath. Large cybernetic parts are sculpted in the form of muscles with tubes flowing into the arm. We have a more natural look on the right shoulder with more fur sculpted into the bare arms with a large bloody stitch leading into the elbows. The right arm is completely cybernetic with large yellow and blue tubes attached to the machinery with more small details like bolts dotted all over. On the left arm we have a different look of machinery parts with metal tubing leading to the wrist where we can see large joints and robotic fingers for the hand. More bloody stitches wrap around the waist of the figure where there is a lack of cybernetic implants here. The legs and knees of the figure have been replaced here as well with cybernetics, with large joints and more plated armor covering the knees. We wrap up the detail with the large mechanical gorilla style feet. Large and flat, each toe is spread out and has many joints in the sculpt. Let's check out the articulation. Cygor has a double jointed neck that allows him to shift his head up and down and have some decent rotation. Arms open and rotate. It's a tight joint. The right elbow bends inward but is restricted by the wires attached to the figure. We also have rotation here with the same restriction. The left arm rotates all the way, with the armor here being made of a soft plastic. It also opens outward as well. The elbow here rotates and bends as much as the sculpting allows. Wrists that bend up and down, and rotate. We have no chest articulation on the figure, but we do have a ball joint at the waist with a wide range of motion. The waist is made of a soft plastic allowing a greater range of motion in the area. Legs that bend up and down and open. Knees that bend back. Feet that bend up and down and rotate left to right. The only accessory we get is the standard McFarlane stand that this figure doesn't really need. Here I've set up Cygor standing straight up next to other McFarlane figures to better gauge how big he is compared to the other sizes.
McFarlane's Mega Figures continue to impress me with the size and weight of the figures. You're getting a lot of plastic with these toys. Cygor is packed with details in the sculpt, has a great paint job, and articulates really well for a figure of this size and shape. The joints feel tight and clicky. Some areas were really tight and had to be warmed up to loosen, but for how heavy this figure is, tight joints will keep this guy standing up for a long time. Coming with just a stand for the accessory, Cygor relies on his size, details, and articulation to bring out the value of the figure. The natural shape and design of a gorilla makes certain poses impossible, as the figure has some hard sculpted positions like the elbows, knees, and hands. I really do wish the hands opened up though so I could grab some other figures for poses. You can get some great gorilla poses on this figure and set them up on the shelf, but I wouldn't expect to get anything further than that out of Cygor. Overall Cygor is a great figure for the Spawn Collector. Beautifully detailed, impressive size and can hold poses very well, Cygor can be the centerpiece of your collection standing out with its huge size. The weight and quality of the figure definitely justify the price point and if you're looking to complete the spawn collection, this is definitely a figure you won't regret. So if you're looking for more beefy figures for your collection, or want to complete spawn's enemies or allies, or just want a giant cybernetic gorilla for your team, Cygor definitely hits a lot of the right spots. Alright guys that's it for this review, more reviews are coming up soon so check out more other videos or leave a comment while you wait.